Hello students, I am Amita Patnaik. Today we are going to read 6th class history, chapter 3, the river valley civilization. So you know that there are 4 ancient river valley civilization, Chinese civilization, Egyptian civilization, Mesopotamian civilization and Indus valley civilization. Today we are going to read about the Indus valley civilization. What is civilization? Civilization is nothing. It is an advanced state of human society which contains a highly developed form of the government, culture, industries and common social norms. The word civilization has been derived from the Latin word civilis which means civil. Next is your, the characteristic of the civilization. These are the some common characteristics. First is the presence of urban centers. In a civilization, there must be a towns and the cities. Then agricultural revolution. The people must know how to cultivate more crops and how to preserve the food. Then language and script. The people must know, use a common language. Language is very essential part of the life. So to communicate anything, we need a language. Language is the means of the communication. So, language and script is available, then we can say it is a civilization. Then, standard measurement for the exchange of the goods. In that time, you know that no buying, no selling is there, just they exchange their goods. So, they need a standard of measurement for the exchange of the goods. Then, craftsmanship for building and complex structure of tools and arts. Then social stratification. There must be a social stratification. That means different classes of the people must be there in the civilization. Then governing bodies and the laws. In any civilization, the ruling class must be there and they follow a common laws. Then common religion and the ideological beliefs. The people must follow some common, uh, com common religion and the ideological belief. The, the next is region for the settlement near the rivers. There are many regions. First is the land is very fertile. First point, the land is very fertile. Because of that, the people prefer to live near the river. And second is the water for the irrigation and the daily purpose. So you know that the in those days, the people depend upon the rivers for their daily purpose, their, for the irrigation, for everything. So, in those days, there was no tap water facility. So, for every purpose, they depend upon the rivers. That's why they prefer to live near the river. Then, third point is, river are the important means of communication. As you know that, in those days, no roads, no vehicles, nothing was there. So, to move one place to another place, to transport the goods from one place to another place, the only way use the waterways. The only way is the at waterways. That's why river is the important means of communication for those people. And fourth point is it provided protection from the enemies. It, it is very difficult in those days to cross the river and attack a particular area. So these rivers are act like a natural boundary. So it protects them from the wild animals, it protects them from the enemies. So this, these are the four points because of that they prefer to live near the river. First is the land is fertile, second is availability of the water in plenty and second, third is the river is a means of communication. Then fourth is your, it provides protection from the enemies. So these are the regions because of that they settle near the river. Now the period of the civilization. Indian Indus Valley civilization is also known as the Harappan civilization. It was the earliest civilization of India. It is existed during the Chalcolithic age and the Bronze Age. Chalcolithic age means the Copper Age. The Copper Age and the Bronze Age. And it was about 2500 BC to 1500 BC. The period is 2500 BC to 1500 BC. The Indus Valley Civilization was existed in our country. Earlier, it was believed that 
Aryan civilization was the first civilization or the ancient civilization of our country, but it proved wrong when two discoveries made in 1921 and 1922. It said that much before the Aryan's arrival, the Indus Valley civilization existed in the northwest part of our country. So after the excavation in the year 1921-22, it proved that uh, Indus Valley civilization was existed around 5000 years back, that is 2500 BC to 1500 BC during the Chalcolithic age and the Bronze age. So Indus Valley civilization is much uh, older than the Aryan civilization. Now the sources of information. Sources of information is divided into two parts. One is archaeological sources and another is the literary sources. Here there is no literary sources because the Indus Valley script had not been disappeared till now. So we have only the archaeological sources. From the archaeological excavation we got various types of ornaments, pots, statues, seals. Besides that also the Great Granary, the Great Path, Harpan cities, Mahindradar cities. So all these uh, things give us a lot of information about the Indus Valley civilization. By studying this, the, our historians, they got the various information and give to us. Today this much only. Next part of this chapter we will read later. Thank you. Thank you so much.